picture this. Do you know that you can earn close to 30,000 shillings from skin trade? Well, Kenya is one of the source markets for Chinese market and other Asian countries when it comes to trading of donkey skin. <laughs> According to Chinese state-run media, the price of a full donkey skin in China rose from 3,648 shillings in the year 2000 to 49,590 by 2017. At the height of the slaughter, they were slaughtering donkeys indiscriminately, including pregnant donkeys, the young donkeys, and so the future of donkeys was threatened. In China, donkey meat and skins are used to manufacture snacks, beauty products, sex stimulants, anti-aging products, and traditional medicine known as Ejiao. These people, this was being driven by the Chinese traders who are using the donkey skins because their main interest, Linda, and we need to emphasize, is that they are interested in the skin of the donkey, which they use to make a luxury product known as Ejiao, not the donkey meat, because traditionally we don't eat that in Kenya. According to Josiah Ojuang, acting executive director and programs director at Africa Network for Animal Welfare, ANU, Kenya can regulate the trade better with other countries in Africa, having managed to do it successfully. Ethiopia, for instance, banned the country's first donkey abattoir from operating after public outcry. However, the ban led to smuggling of animals into Kenya for sale. We are doing our what we call cross-border coordination with our colleagues, the department in Ethiopia, so as to avoid donkey smuggling and theft into the country from Ethiopia. Last year, donkey owners made calls to the government to ban the sale of donkey meat in Kenya. The government hid their call and suspended the sale, but shortly after, the High Court cleared the way and scrapped the ban due to insufficient justification for the ban. It's working towards policy development so that we recommend to the government that there is need to develop strong legislation and not just strong legislation, but also enforcement procedures and measures that will be used to bring a complete halt to the trade of donkeys. All we are asking and recommending is that donkey slaughter is unsustainable and it must be stopped immediately and with urgency. Advocates believe that the scale of donkey slaughter in Kenya is the largest on the African continent. However, there could be a breakthrough soon as the recent United Nations Environment Assembly UNEA's fifth session made a landmark resolution recognizing animals as an essential part of the ecosystem and that detrimental impacts on animals or their habitats can harm nature and the natural environment in various ways. Do you own donkeys or did you used to own donkeys? Linda Koskei K24 TV.